Hey there Polycasters, I'm Elliot, and in this short series of videos, we're going to set up our Polymer environment for Polymer projects, and then we're going to create a Polymer 2 element. Let's get started with installing the proper tools. So first we're going to install Node.js. Uh, my favorite way to install Node.js is using the uh, Node Version Manager, or NVM. You can easily find this by just Googling it for NVM, and you'll see this GitHub thing for Creationix. At the top, you'll have a quick install script where you can just copy paste if you have a bash prompt. So here's my terminal, I'm gonna paste it right in and it'll install. All right, once you have that installed, uh, NVM, you can install node using NVM install node. And you want to install the stable version. And there you go, it should be set up. You'll also see this last command out of NVM that you want to either run every time you start a new terminal or put it into your bash profile or your bash RC if you're on Ubuntu. So I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to put this in my bash profile. So I'm gonna open up Vim and put it into my bash profile. And you can see I already have it here, uh, but let's pretend I don't have that. And you would just paste it in, save it, and you can restart your terminal. But I already have that, so I'm not gonna restart for now. I just clear this up. Now that we have a node installed, we want to install the Polymer CLI. The Polymer CLI is a tool created by the Polymer team, and it allows you to initialize projects and it has a lot of really nice features to it. Uh, we'll go through them one at a time later. So npm install, and we want to install it globally, so we're going to use the dash g flag, and we're going to install the Polymer dash CLI. Have that run. This might take a few minutes, depending on how fast your internet connection is and how fast your machine is. All right, now that we have the Polymer CLI installed, you can test it running the Polymer command, and you should see a really nice logo right there. Next, we want to install Bower, which is a package manager that we typically use with Polymer projects. So we're going to npm install. We're going to install it globally using the dash g flag, and it's just simply Bower. Uh, we're going to speed everything up, but this should actually take a few minutes. So now we have all the command line interfaces installed. Now let's get started with our IDE and text editors. So you can use typically almost any IDE to develop with Polymer. Uh, I personally like VS Code. And in VS Code, they have a nice part where they have extensions. In here, you can search for Polymer IDE. And it's typically the first one by the Polymer team. Hit install and then reload your project. All right, now we're all set up. Let's initialize a project. So here I'm gonna to go to my desktop, CD to the desktop. Then I'm gonna make a directory and we're gonna call it polycast checklist. Now let's CD into that. And now just double check we're in there and now let's initialize our project. So polymer init is the command to initialize a project. Just hit enter there, you'll get a bunch of options to create a Polymer 2 element, an application starter kit, etc. We'll go with an element for now. The element name is gonna be Polycast Checklist, so you can just skip through this and hit enter. Uh, for now, we'll skip the description, and it's gonna bower install all the dependencies. Cool, looks like we're set up. Now, one last thing, Polymer Serve. We'll start up a server and actually uh, show what you have running so far. So here we want to copy the second one because we're creating an element or reusable component. So copy that, go over to my browser, paste it in, and ta-da, we're running. So that's it. We've got our tools installed and our live environment running. In the next video, we'll familiarize ourselves with our project's layout. See you soon.